So Zion sent me this Weeble 3E gimbal for free. Now the video is not sponsored, but they agreed to send this to me for free if I was going to make a video for them. And I thought, okay, this might be a good opportunity for me to cover some gear because I know people ask me what cameras to get, what lenses to buy, especially when they're just starting their business. And although those type of questions are a little bit harder to answer because I don't know what industries you're going into, I believe having at least one gimbal is something that everybody could purchase, especially for a business, because you just never know when you're going to need like steady footage. Like you don't want it to be shaky and everything if you need something to be a little bit more steady, like real estate, for instance, or if you're filming weddings and you're not shooting at 60 frames to slow it down or stabilize it. Now, I do agree that sometimes you don't need a gimbal for a lot of things, because if you have a camera with internal stabilization, it really doesn't matter all that much. Or if you're just going to slow the footage down because you're shooting at 60 frames, it doesn't matter also. But having a gimbal is always nice. I have three of them. This will be my fourth one. But I just wanted to check it out and see if it's something that I would use. So what I have balanced on here is my A7S III with my 16 or 35 G Master. And this is what I would use if I was going on a real estate shoot. Because my normal gimbal with this setup would be the uh, Ronin RS4. And it can hold a lot of weight. So far, just from the build of this, it feels a little plasticky. Not in a bad way. And it's more so just the handle because I know that's where the battery is. It doesn't need to be metal. But the tilt pan and roll axis is good construction. I like that it has lock features like my Ronin RS4, which if you don't know what that means, if you're balancing your cameras, having these different axes to be able to lock so you can just focus on one axis at a time is a huge deal. Like you don't have to try to balance it with your hands the whole time. And that's what I used to have to do when I was starting out. Now it's not a huge pain in the neck, you know, you can always deal with it, but being able to lock those things when you can just work on one axis at a time helps you to focus on what you're doing. And I think it helps you balance your gimbal a lot faster. Um, it has a record button, which means it has to have a Bluetooth feature so that if you wanted to just hit the record button, your camera would actually start recording. You don't have to always reach around the top to start and stop it. You can just do it right where your thumb is. In terms of a, a mode, it has pan follow, which means it's not going to go up and down. It's going to go left and right, but pretty much it's going to stay on a horizontal axis the whole time. Then you have lock, which means it's not going to turn at all. Like it's just going to stay straight forward wherever you're pointing the camera. And then you have follow, which means it's going to follow your hand movements anywhere you go. Now, I didn't see a roll feature on here, which would be like if you tilt it sideways, the camera would tilt as well. But that's not really problematic to me. Like when I'm looking for a gimbal, I don't necessarily need a roll feature. It is nice if you want to kind of change up the way that you shoot something, but it's not a deal breaker, especially for this price point. They did want me to mention that there's a special going on with this gimbal, and that is it's normally priced at $250. They have a deal that's going from November 18th to December 31st. That brings it down to $211. And they also sent me this accessory, this little third arm. It's not, it doesn't come with the gimbal, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately because I like to have this extra little handle. I think it helps your back because if you're like me and you hold this gimbal in front of you like this for too long, you start to lean forward a little bit too much and you start to feel it in your back or you'll start to overcompensate by leaning back just so that, you know, your back is not hurting. But having just an extra arm to help you is a big deal. Now for my Ronin, it has little side pegs so that I can like, add on additional arms to the sides of it and the weeble does not have that so you won't be able to like add on arms going sideways to like mount external monitors lights stuff like that and i don't see those type of ports on the bottom either but what you could do is you could mount an external monitor here on the top of the handle and then connect the hdmi directly to the side so that if you wanted to have an external monitor you could and I think you can have it on the side like this so that, I mean, if you wanted to hold it, you know, on the side instead of behind you, you can do that. And then it just locks in. Overall, for the price point, I think it's a pretty good gimbal. 
I wish I actually would have known about this early on, but I started with the Ronin. God, man, it was so long ago. I can't even remember. I just know the Ronin didn't lock. This lock feature is a big deal for me <clears throat> because it helps me just get stuff done faster in terms of balancing when I need it. Now, what I did plan on doing, because I already have three gimbals, I don't need a fourth, was giving this away to one of you guys. So if you're currently a subscriber, if you currently comment on my videos and watch, I want to give you guys a chance to win this. So if you are interested, just comment me under this video so I can put you into a raffle. And then in a couple of weeks, I will raffle the name of the winner of this gimbal. The only thing you will have to do is pay for shipping, but that's not a big deal. But let me know your thoughts on the gimbal, if you would get this, if you wouldn't get it, and why. And if you like this video, of course, share, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.